Morgan, come down off that stand there, Morgan, buddy. I'm taking you out of here. Your seat. No, Your get Honor, down. The Listen to me. Stop the You're out of order. No, you're out of order. How do you justify forcing a 12-year-old boy to testify against his own father? To be representing the justice system. So where's the justice? A 12-year-old boy gets yanked out of school without his parents' knowledge. Gets dragged into court, put on the stand so the prosecutor can try and trick him into implicating his own father. I mean, the law is intended to protect the innocent, to ensure that the rights of the weak are upheld. Well, you guys are doing the opposite. You're abusing your positions as officers of the court, obstructing justice and betraying your oath to uphold the law. Very moving, Detective Falconeri, also blatantly unfounded and completely illegal. Bailiff, take this man into custody for contempt of court. You get the hell away from my son. This is Jax, this is a court of law, and the detective's theatrics notwithstanding, your son is not finished. My son fact. was taken out of school without my consent or my permission. He's a child and he's upset and he's not going to do this anymore, so you can either arrest me now or I'm taking my kid home. The court yields on this one occasion to the wishes of the witness's mother. Mrs. Jax, you may take your son home, though he may be recalled to give further testimony. Thank you. Court is adjourned for the day, and I'll see both attorneys in my chambers. I'll take it from here. Yeah, it's just got to be making a day. You got it all wrong. Man, you seem really torn up about it, right? Yeah. You were a good cop with a promising future. You threw it all away to protect Sonny and his family. I was protecting a little boy who was yanked out of school, leaned on him, and dragged in the court. Morgan had information. Oh, he's an innocent kid. He should have just told the truth. Well, or your twisted version of it? Well, what are you saying? I, I pushed the kid? Well, come on, Ronnie. Like, you didn't sit down in the witness room and have a chat with the kid and drop breadcrumbs on the path you wanted him to follow. At this point, you and Claire Walsh are no different than the people we're trying to put away. Oh, no different? No different than drug dealers or murders? Well, not if no you different than doing the man who shot point point this way. in the chest oh, and deep sixed his wife? Look, Sonny never claimed to abide by the law, much less uphold it. That's our job, Ronnie. Yours, mine, Claire Walsh. Why don't you just get off I mean, your you high and mighty pedestal? What you did, okay, man. why don't you just get off it, quit the force, and go work for your daddy? grounds to declare a mistrial. Is that what the two of you want? Go through this ordeal a second time? Absolutely not, Your Honor. I am fully prepared to proceed, Your Honor, despite the prosecution's uh -huh. unconscionable exploitation of my client's young son. If Michael Corinthos weren't being sequestered to keep him from testifying, I wouldn't have... Counselors, been your endless bickering is not making me more disposed to continue this case. With all due respect, Your Honor, this last outburst was the fault of Detective Falconeri, who was originally called as a witness for the prosecution. I have already dealt with Mr. Falconeri. As for you, Miss Miller... You have tested the limits of my patience since the moment you first opened your mouth to make your opening statements. And don't try to take some high moral ground. It only serve to annoy me. Yes. Well, at the risk of annoying you further, Your Honor, the prosecution has just committed a serious breach of ethics by putting Morgan Corinthos on the stand without the consent or knowledge of his parents. The judge has no issue with that. Actually, I do. I was not aware that parents had not been notified. That maneuvering is unacceptable in my courtroom. And just earned you another thousand dollar fine, Miss Walsh. Keep going like this. It's going to cost you more than you earn to try this case. I'm putting you both on equal notice. One more ethical or procedural violation, one more showboat tactic for the jury, and I will declare a mistrial. I'm here to visit my son. This must be a red letter day for you, huh, Sonny? You must be loving this. Dante wrecking his career, save his kid brother. Got to make you real proud to be a father. I'm very proud of Dante. Yes, oh, yeah? Do yeah. you think he feels the same way about you? Uh, the, the man who created this whole mess and uh, killed his wife and shot his own son point blank in the chest when he was acting in the line of duty? You know what I would do, Sonny, if I were you? I, I would stand back from the jail cell See, just in case Dante leans through the bars and he decides to spit in your face. You think you're funny, don't you? Yeah. You know what? You don't really believe that. And that's 
What's eating at you, isn't it? What's gonna happen to Dante? Yeah, I get lost. You should need to talk to you about something. I'm not interested in anything you have to say. Unfortunately, you're a captive audience. I think you saw the, uh, the system today. How people with power aren't as purely motivated as they pretend to be. Oh, you mean people twisting a law to suit their purpose? I am. That's really make you sick. Well, at least I'm honest about what I do. I don't, I don't terrorize kids to get them to do what I want and then act like I'm some pillar of justice. No, you, you're pretty upfront about the people you kill. Claire Walsh and the judge aren't interested in justice. They're interested in taking me down to advance their own careers. You saw that hypocrisy in all its glory today. And I know you hate it. So what's your point? There's an alternative. <laughs> you really asking me that? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm, I am serious. I, I think we should get out of the force because that badge don't have the respect you thought it did. Now, we don't have to be enemies. All you got to do is just give up being a cop. What on earth possessed you to put Morgan on the stand? I needed his testimony to establish that Michael no, was driving the car. No, you did it for one then. reason and one reason only, to torture Sonny. Now, I don't care what you do to him, but you do not use my stepson. You cross the line. Your righteous indignation is being wasted. Carly's not here to appreciate it. <laughs> this has nothing to do with my wife. Listen, if you want to distance yourself to win back your estranged wife, be my guest. Just let me do my job. Your job basically. is to put Sonny behind bars. And that does not include exploiting my 12-year-old stepson, do you understand? Morgan's testimony is valuable, and he will get back on the stand. I think it would be best if you step down to this prosecuting attorney. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm seeing this through. I called in favors to have you put on this case, Claire. I'll call in the same favors to have you removed. You know, Jax, I've done some research on you. Do you remember Ian Rourke? He put 53 years of his life into his company, and you cleaned house overnight. You put him and all his people out of work. You made a killing, literally. So much so that when Ian Rourke died because he was so distraught over what you'd done, I don't think you lost a wink of sleep when you just sailed off in your new yacht. Okay? So don't tell me about lines being crossed, because this is what winning looks like. This is why you recruited me, and this is why you're not pulling me off this case. I am too close to getting Sonny convicted, and that is the win that you're looking for. Did I mess up today on the witness stand? Hey, I'm here to see Dante. Well, his father's in there with him now. He's probably thanking him for his family show of loyalty today in the courtroom. Dante despises Sonny. Yeah, I, I used to think so, but now I'm not so sure. Dante was upset that Morgan was taken out of school and put on the witness stand. He was trying to help Morgan, not Sonny. Well, the line's getting pretty blurred now, don't you think? Look, I know you and Dante in love, okay? So why don't you talk to him? Remind him that, that a dad is not just the guy you share DNA with. It's a guy who's supposed to teach you and, and guide you and and show you right from wrong, okay? And Dante had that when he Lieutenant was a kid. Lieutenant Paletti, yeah. Oh, you, you know about him. Dante said that he was a wonderful man. He was a good cop and a good man. And Sonny gunned him down in cold blood. Remind Dante of that, all right? Remind him that Sonny is a cop killer. And he meant to kill him, too. You know, Dante's got to remember what side he's on because... If he keeps seeing Sonny like family, he's gonna, he's gonna end up destroying himself. We don't have to hate each other. 